two are bad friends. Who are these two idiots? A white dude and an Asian dude. You two are disgusting. Well, you two are something. We're bad friends. People in my house that I live with, they treat me like I'm a fucking ghetto son of all sons. Could you imagine, what would you sell door to door if you could uh, tour the country and sell stuff? What do you think you would sell? I would sell, um, I would sell ointments. <laughs> Oils? Just for the calves. Like when the calves. Oh, calf ointment. Get, yeah, when, you know how calves sometimes get sore sore from do fucking I? their daily activities like hauling rocks or mining or whatever you do. Or Is this do the do pitch? karate kicks. Is this the pitch? Yeah, yeah. Okay, pitch me. Um, do you ever, I would go, hello. Uh, hi. Uh, my, my name would be Robert. Hello, I'm Robert Young Lee. Oh, That's my middle name. Hi, Robert. Hi, I'm Robert Young Lee. And uh, may I ask you some questions, sir? Absolutely. I've got nothing but time. Are your calves sore? How do you know yeah, that? Yeah, because do you every day, as we go on to our daily businesses, mm -hmm. and we um, we walk mountaintops, and we climb cliffs solo. I've been climbing a lot of cliffs. And then we, you know, we also do um, reverse kung fu kicks to the Ye suplexes to people. Yes, yes. And do you ever um, also do side steppings when you're dancing? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, in the country line, when you're in the country line and you do side steps. Yes. Do you ever do that? Do you ever, um, do you ever like go when you, instead of saying no, you do like you know what I mean? You lift your leg up. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So when somebody says, uh, "Have you ever seen uh, uh, Jungle Book the movie?" You go, "No," but instead of saying, you put lift your leg up. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I have the greatest oil for for you. Okay. What is it? This is called green stuff. <laughs> green stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's made from aloe and um, tree bark. And also, if you go uh -huh. deep in the Amazon, there's a mysterious tree called the carnivora tree. The carnivora tree. <laughs> yeah. So it eats meat? The tree eats meat? Yeah, but Neat. if you... It, uh, let me tell you, my friend, we have a technology oh, in hand. okay. Right? We take a, um, a machine, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Bunsen burners. You take a machine... You take Bunsen burners? <laughs> it's a machine based on the Bunsen burner technique. Got it. Right. And then what we do is we slice over the artery of the base of the carnivore tree. So the tree has veins, so it has a blood running through it? Mm -hmm. And Wild. we stick a, um, a technological tube in it. Oh, a tech tube. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We call it technological tube. Sorry, right? I shouldn't shorten your and stuff. And over, uh, yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. But over a six-month period, right, we slowly ionize the juices from the carnivore tree. Whoa. Right, along with aloe and also along with angel wing dust. Where does the aloe come from? I'll tell you where the angel wing d dust come from. Mm-hmm. Did you know that some of our, we have a crew of people who die. Everybody dies. No, we flatline on purpose, like in the movie Flatliners. Yes. And what we do is we flatline for a split, split second. We only l let them flatline for about 15 minutes because if you let them flatline more than that, they'll die or they'll become brain activity dead. Brain activity right. dead. Right. So what we do is we flatline some of our scientist teams, mm -hmm. right? And in that 15 minutes, they're in heaven, and they hunt down angels to create <gasps> the angel wing dust. Wow. So we shoot down angels. <laughs> so you kill angels? Yes. We kill we someone to kill... Okay, My sorry. company... Just listen, sir. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't... Let me tell you something, sir. I wasn't even going to stop... I wasn't even going to stop by this house. Oh, why? I'm busy. I have to go to the corporate center and sell my product to um, um, Be Bezos. Jeff Bezos? Yes. You were selling this product you, to well, Jeff he, Bezos? Not selling it. He wants it. I don't know. I haven't decided. Well, yet. I want it. How much I, is but it? My point is, is that you're lucky to have it. So let me finish this. Mm -hmm. So for 15 minutes, my scientists, right, we flatline. Okay. And then we um, we hunt down um, angels. And then what we, we do is delicately, with the same technology as we do as the carnivore the tree. The Bunsen burners? Yeah, well, yeah. And we have a clipping uh, mechanism uh, uh -huh. called Yaw Right. Yaw Right? Yaw Right Clips. <laughs> oh, Yaw Right Clips. Yeah, because they're very gentle. Oh. On the angels, we don't kill the angels. You well, they're already dead anyway. They're dead. Yeah. Okay. But we clip their um, we clip their wings, right? Mm -hmm. And they're very small. Angels people, are small. People don't realize how small. Uh, angel people think, people think the angels are human size. They're not. They're the size of little fairies. Sometimes angels are the size of mosquitoes, so they're very difficult to catch. How do you delineate in, between in an angel and a fairy? How do you know which one's which then? Well, fairies, are, because I'll tell you why. Because fairies live on Middle Earth. Of course. Or some sections of the earth. Of course. Right? And um, they're not angels. Angels are dead. They're, they live in heaven. 
But are fairies dead? But or when they... fairies die, they turn into the mosquito size angels. Oh, right. Okay. And those ones, we we capture as well. And you get we the... clip the ear. We clip, and I clip the wings. Mm -hmm. Some ears. Mm -hmm. Right. But mostly wings. Mostly for the dust. And we get the dust. Right. With the carnivorous tree ac 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 extract. Right. And the aloe. Mm -hmm. We combine this ointment called we call green stuff. The green stuff, I remember. Right, yeah. right, right, right. And you just gently inject them <laughs> into your calves. Into my calves. Yeah, you don't rub it on the surface. Okay. We stick it in a syringe. Oh, oh it goes inside my... <laughs> yes. In the muscle. You inject it. Okay. Right. Now, I'll tell you what. In the beginning, <laughs> you won't feel well. I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> no, you won't. You won't be able to walk for six months. Six months. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. one half year. <laughs> one half year. One half year. I can't yeah, use my and legs. And your calves will petrify a bit. Um, they'll turn actually. A lot of people think that um, they'll turn stone. They'll petrify. They'll turn into stone. <laughs> yeah, but almost like a hard uh, quartz rock. Huh. Do you ever see the movie um, or the TV show um, Chernobyl? Yes. Those little quartz rocks they find on the... Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's my legs. That's what it'll feel like. There'll be radiation as well. Wow. And people around you might get cancer. Okay. Yeah. But it will it make my calves but feel better? But in six months, yeah. I'll tell you what, you'll run like that, like that African-American runner, <laughs> Carl Lewis. Carl Lewis? <laughs> yeah. Are you a salesman from 40 years ago? <laughs> Do you mean Usain Bolt? Usain Bolt. Will I run like him? <laughs> oh, hey, God. sir, sir, yeah, before yeah. you go. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll, I, before sir, you go. I have not told you the price. Oh, how much? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 4.5, my friend. $4.50. $4.5 million. $4.5 million? <laughs> yes. How many injections do I get? One. So one, that's it. One injection, and in six months, you will run like Hussein Bolt. Hussein? Or Usain? Or Whatever Usain? Usain? Well, you're not from where he's from, Jamaica. I'm from Jamaica, yes. Well, I'm from the section of Jamaica where he is from. Oh, you are? Yeah, Tatao Village. And uh, in Tatao Village, we call him Hussein because that's, just common, that's the common tongue. Us from, Hussein. That's right. Like Saddam. Much like it. Okay. Yeah, much like it. So 5.4 4, 4 million? Yep. 4.5 million? Yeah, and we only receive cash. Oh, you only take cash? <laughs> we only take cash. Even during the pandy? Yeah. Can I just Venmo you? Well, it's usually 12.5. That's the thing. I oh, forgot so to you're giving that. me a discount. Half off. More than half off. It's, yeah, 60 it's like percent 60, off. Yeah. Well, where do I sign up? Green stuff. Here's your, And you don't get it right away. Well, I need the cash up front. <laughs> you don't get it right away. When do I get it? <laughs> We're still, we have two scientists. Oh, so it's not, you don't have it in yet. In heaven right now, catching angels. No, we have some, but we sold out. Bezos. Bezos has all of it. Bezos has one. Yeah. Yeah. He paid $15 million, but you know. How have you turned Jeff Bezos into a Spanish guy? Bezos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, before you go, can I can I talk to you about something? Yeah, go ahead. You have something to sell me? Mm -hmm. What is it? Have you ever been introduced to your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ? No, what is that? I've never heard of that. You don't know who that is? No. He's a wonderful little man. Is he little? He's very tiny. We, is he a dwarf? Smaller. Oh. He takes Pick away. Pygmy? Huh? Pygmy dwarf? A, a, well, they, it's a new name now. It's not called Pygmy anymore because that's offensive to pigs. Oh, 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 my bad. It's called I, it's I, called it's called muskrat dwarf. <laughs> a muskrat. A muskrat right. dwarf. Muskrat dwarf. dwarf. That's ah, right. Ah, I very tiny. Google that later. You you can. Yes. He has very little sharp pointy ears. He hears and sees everything. He takes away all of your pain. And all you need to do today is to commit to me all of your secrets, mm. and I'll take away all of your pain forever. Great. So may I give you some secrets? Please. Okay. Well, do is there a because uh, I've seen movies. Yeah. Are there booths? Are there booths for the secrets? Is there a booth that I can go in where I can close a door and there's like a little curtain thing? Little do you know you're being yeah. protected right now by an invisible booth. Literally nobody can hear you within five feet. Yeah. Watch this. Okay. Say say to her, say, you suck. Just say it out loud right now. You suck. Didn't even hear it. She didn't hear it. Didn't hear it. You're in a no. booth. You're in a private booth with me. Okay, here we go then. Tell me your secret. All right. So in, um, not, not a big deal. No, not at not all. Not a big deal. Hold so, on one second. Yeah, me, yeah. I have to just record this on my phone. Go yeah. ahead. In 1997. Yeah. Um... I decided to become a. I got a job offer for being a school bus driver in in Thailand. Okay. Yeah, and um, I signed up, uh, applied, went to Thailand, and uh, the bus. Um, it look. It wasn't a yellow school bus. It was. A, what color are they? This was a white. It looked like a van. Like a van with no windows. Yes, a van with no windows. That's a bad school bus. So I would go to the. Yeah, you know, I would go uh -huh. and pick up the kids for school. Okay. Yeah, and. Um, 
And they would be in the, we, we, we would jam about 60 kids in the back of this van. You 60 we kids? We'll lay them down like sardines. On top of each other? Was, they're crying. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It turns yeah. out it was a, unbeknownst to me, a human trafficking business. <laughs> yes, yes. What? Did you so get in trouble bad. for that? Uh, well, once I found out it was one, I quit after that first job. Okay. Yeah. Well, then Delivered the kids. One second. Yeah. Let's go! Fly <laughs> in! <laughs> the grease is up. The, the grease is up. The grease is up. We got him. Hey, uh, you know what I watched all night last night? I got a new show for you guys. Oh, my God. What uh, is it? Alone. Oh, do you what know Alone? It? On Netflix, 10 people are put out in the middle of the Arctic, in the middle of nowhere, hundreds of miles, thousands of miles north in, in, in northern Canada. Why? In the Arctic Circle. Why? They're given 100 days to survive on their own using 10 items, and if they can do it, they get a half a million dollars. It's, it's like naked and afraid, but, but in way, the cold. Way cooler. Are they naked? No, they got clothes Not on. Not as cool. <laughs> Why does naked and afraid have to be about naked nah, people? Because it's because in naked and afraid. First things first, your penis gets bit. I'm out. I'm going home. That's it. The first mosquito. Yep. Sucking yeah, my dick no, no, blood, my point I'm is, is gone. That, wait, let me, is this, oh, so this is a reality show. It's real people. This is real. It's a documentary. It's a docu-series. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, well, then yeah, that's cool. It's awesome. I thought you said that there was a movie. No, a new show. TV show. It's a new show. Listen, I thought you said Alone. I thought you Alone was kind of like lost, like a, a scripted show. Oh, no. And then, so in my head, I'm like, how is that cooler than, because that's, what's real is Naked and Afraid, but you're saying that alone is real people. Real people. Going out in the Arctic with clothes. Yep. Ten items of their own. They get ten items and they have to survive. A hundred days. Through the Arctic winter. Do and they, it, do, can they bring their own foods? No. What do they eat? Polar bear, polar bear blabber? Polar, what, polar, blabber? Blair, polar bear blabber. What do they may eat? Well, there's all sorts of stuff up there. There's elk. There's mountain lion. There's uh, deer. There's a muskrat. A guy ate a muskrat. There's squirrels. There's... Uh, do they bring their own tents? They can bring tarps, not tents. So you can make a tent. What's the difference between a tarp and tent? Big difference between it's a like tarp you live and a tent. In a house, or you go, "Hey, Bobby, where do you live? A house," but then it turns out to be a condominium. Same thing. It's not even remotely close to being the same thing. A tarp and a tent are two different things. A tent is pre-built as a tent. A tarp is a tarp. What is a tarp? It's just a big piece of uh, material that you can use in a million different ways. A tent is a it's a fucking tent. Can a tarp turn into a teepee tent like the back back of, back of my boys did? Can, can. But, but is the teepee tent a tent? Teepees a teepee. No, they call them tents at, sometimes. No, they don't. They some, call some them teepees. Tri some tribes do. Which ones? The Mohawkan. Oh, Mohawkans do? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, maybe then. All right, so what you're saying is is that they take a tarp. They take a tarp and turn it into they a tent. They can turn it into a tent. A, a teepee. They can start a fire. Have, uh, they have fire mechanisms? Mm -hmm. So they have flints, you know, fire starters. Okay, I get what they are. One guy forgot one, and he had to do the bow and arrow, you know, the bow thing. Yeah, didn't work. <laughs> Forever, no, it's so stupid. Work. It was really funny to watch that. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, my hands. Yeah, I, I know. They always do that too. Yeah, because they, it gets sore from this. When you like a naked afraid, if they don't, they don't have a flint. Yeah. There was always one guy that goes, bro. I've tar I've started ten thousand fires with a stick and a piece of, you know what I mean, yeah. bark. Can't. And then when they get out there, I don't know why it's not working. <laughs> and then crying. their partner and their partner just looking at them like this, like you fucking son of a bitch, gotta fucking get a flint. Yeah, it's so. I, just bring the fire starter thing, so they can bring ten things, yeah. and then um, they can only survive off of the land. Yeah, I also love a naked afraid when like because everyone gets to choose, you know what I mean, a survival thing. What do you mean? Like you, you get a pot, I guess, and like you know, but then you get one choice. Oh yeah, you can bring own, along another one thing. Item. So one guy's like, "I brought my machete," right? And the other partner's like, "I brought a pencil." <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, "Why?" In right? case we need to take notes. Yeah, we take, you, this has many uses. I'd like to draw notes, some of the leaves. And when you get an infection, I can draw the blood. Yeah, I mean, like, and then they yeah. get upset. Yeah, no, everyone's bringing like an axe or a knife or a machete. I do love Naked and Afraid because they give people PSRs. Your primitive survival rating yeah, is eight point yeah, six. Yeah. What would yours be? 0. 0.7. 0. 0.7. What yeah. would yours? What would yours be? Way higher than you. Out of ten. Why you have no fucking survival skills whatsoever? Insane. You, Insane. You, all right. So you don't. At to, the very start. You don't want to start a fire. Yup. With a lighter, probably, and gasoline. Yeah. No, but what I'm saying, you you could. I if can I, start it with if a If I dropped you off in the middle of the Amazon mm -hmm. with nothing, mm -hmm. you'd be able to start a fire. Not with nothing. No, I can't. These fuckers can. No, they can't. They always have to have something to start off. You need some something no, to start. No, I've seen dudes go. I don't need it because I can, I have a fucking. I can get a stick and I know how to do it. I know. What, I know what. Rocks I can't do the smoke thing. I can't. Well, then that. Then either can I. So that that goes against you. Okay, but I. Okay, let's do my points then. 
I, I'm athletic, which which helps tremendously because you're going to— Fat dudes survive longer. So no, they don't. Time. You have to hunt game. How can you hunt game if you're fat? Bro, a lady on fucking did two fucking um, naked afraids. Yeah. Vegetarian. No. Yes. Two. One lady did the 40-day challenge. Yeah. Vegetarian. And she refused to eat any fish. She's dead now. No, she's not. She's dead now. She had sepsis and died. I read that article. She doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> no, she did exist, but but now because she has no nutrients, she could be just in and out of. She floats in and out of it, our of, universe. Of our universe. Yeah. Okay, I'm also athletic is a huge thing. That, no, right? conserving fat is a huge thing. I've seen fat. Your dudes. fat is concentrated into one area. Yeah. It needed to be spread out. Your arms aren't fat. It's on my dick, baby. No, it's Fuck. not. It's on yeah. you. <laughs> it's on my dick. Bay, bay. Your dick fat looks like a lava lamp. It's like fat here, skinny, mm -hmm. fat here, fat, skinny, skinny, fat. Oh my god! You look. Your penis looks like an anal bead. You know what your fucking penis looks like? <laughs> if you opened up Trump's dick and to just took out one of his veins, is what your dick would look like. Okay, that's I mean, dope. Okay, what do you mean? It's a big, thick vein. No, not a thick vein. Thick vein. Look at a dick. Yeah. Trump's dick. Look at Trump's dick. Right. Fine. And those little dicks, those little not little dicks, <laughs> but the little veins in the dick. Yeah. That's what your dick looks like. There's not a bigger dick in his dick. She hates this. I know. She's so grossed out. Yeah. Rudy, I'm sorry. sorry you grossed Rudy. out by sorry, his Rudy. talk about Trump's pee-pee? Kind of. Offensive, no less. Um, yeah, I tried to go bowling yesterday, where and they are closed down in it, because the country's closing down again. What and do you I, mean? You know, what do you not mean? Me. No, the country. I've, re I've reopened. What if, really? Oh, yeah. I've, For, I've gone to three raves. Where? Up in the fucking Temecula. You seriously have been to a rave? Yeah, three of them. I was the only one there. People, I had my glow people got mad at me because I said, "I've been I've been really good during the pandy. Mm -hmm. The only thing I've been doing is I've been playing on Craigslist. I'm part of this group, and we play tackle football with strangers <laughs> in the park. And it's no pants. It's shirts, but no pants. Is that bad? People got so mad. They're like, that's, really funny. They're like, that's irresponsible. <laughs> that's really funny. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just a group of buds. Yeah. And we just meet up every Sunday, mm -hmm. right here, Balboa yeah. Park, and we just hang out. Yeah. And it's no, and it's pants. You know why it's no pants, by the way? Mm. Because you can't run in jeans. It's mm. impossible to play football in jeans. Yeah, you gotta have no pants. Mm -hmm. Also, we we used to have a rule where you couldn't tackle by the dick. Mm -hmm. You can now. Well, people are mad at me because I do a um, every Saturday. I, I do an escape room. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do an escape room. Where is it? What? It's over there in Los Feliz. I do an escape room with um, hundred people. You're right. It's all my friends. Hundred people. Right. You know them You're all. Right. right. And we wear masks when we get there, but in the escape room, you can't because you have to communicate. How do you, yeah, you need to talk. Yeah, you need to talk. Like, how do we get into that fucking opening up there? Right. right? Yeah. Hey, hey, Raul, you know what I mean? Right. So, let's solve the prob um, this puzzle together. Have you? And so 15 of us will huddle together. And solve it. Right, and just stare at a little mechanism and mm -hmm. just figure out what, what buttons to press. Is, right? the, is it really hot in there? Super hot. So you're sweating Super like crazy. Hot. Yeah, yeah. And there's no, because it's in the escape room, there's no ventilation. <laughs> People get so mad about that. I don't know why. But why? It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, it's some, one escape room, it took us 12 hours to get out of. Yeah. Right? And the last bit of it is us, <laughs> about 30 of us at a time, have to shimmy right? yeah. in a tube, uh -huh. right? Together, right? We yeah. have to be, you have to put, take your clothes off as well. Of course. Right? And you have to shimmy, yeah. right? And um, they blow smoke in there. Oh right! It's a fire, like a fuck. Kind of, it's like a um, back, like backdraft kind of a theme. Oh, I love that. Right, movie. so you, you love that, right? So the smoke is in the you cough, <laughs> right, right, yeah, and you're shimmering, shimmying, yeah, naked, right? right? But you know, we stopped doing it last Saturday. It's over now because of the you know the well, hysteria. Of, yeah, I know. I trust me, it's cr yeah. it's crazy. Can I take you guys to a restaurant? We went to a new restaurant. It's fucking phenomenal. What's it called? It's called Mama Bird. There's no way. You, have you heard of Mama Bird? Do you guys know about this? I just said there's no way. How, 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 how? No, no. It's it's delicious. It's so good. Is it a chicken? No, Mama Bird is like a, it's like a, I'd say Americana Bistro. And what happens is the chef comes out, greets you. She takes your, takes your order as well. She recommends stuff. And she cooks it, brings it back to the table. And then she chews it and spits it in your mouth. <laughs> it is... The best restaurant. It's some of the most delectable. None of the nutrients are gone. You still get all the nutrients. <laughs> it's so good. I literally thought you were being real. <laughs> okay, Mama Bird. That's Mama Bird. Wow. It's so good. Because the, mm. and apparently the reason that she choose, pre-choose it for you mm -hmm. is, because, <laughs> is because a lot of times, do you know how many people choke and die at restaurants in the United States of America? Yeah. 30,000. Mama Bird. Wait, this restaurant, it's in, in Arizona, right? Yes. It's in downtown Phoenix. Downtown Phoenix. Yes. 
Go to Mama well, Bird's. Mama Bird, downtown Phoenix. And her right. name her name is Gladys the Chef, and she will chew and spit in your mouth your mm. food because so many people choke and die mm. on, on on in restaurants. Thirty thousand mm. a year. Mm. She's cutting that number down to nothing. Yeah. You can't choke on when it's pre chewed. Mm. Pretty cool. I can I tell you? Restaurant. Can I, I go, tell you a bad story? There's another restaurant that I go to. Oh, what is it? Yeah, it's called The Exotic. The Exotic? Yes. What is it's it? a great restaurant. Well, it's a pl- pretty far. It's in Wuhan. In Wuhan. Oh, Wuhan, China. <laughs> well, yes, yeah. Wuhan, China. Yeah. Oh, I love that spot. It's called The Exotic, and they only serve um, bats. Really? Yes. But what's great about it, they cut, they catch, they catch bats. Oh, they catch. They them. catch them right in a uh-huh. net, right? Uh huh. And while they're alive, they just they slice meat like a sashimi. They don't cook it. Why would you cook it? Yeah, why are you right? That's the question. People cook their bats. <laughs> People cook their bat. They boil it. No. Stupid. No need. There's in the belly of the bat is where the fat the the belly meat is. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's the where belly the fat meat. is. You know like what I mean? Toto. Like Toro. <laughs> like yeah, it's like Toro. Yeah. Right, it's like Toro. And you just slow. Right. While the bat's still alive, he's still yeah, alive. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And he's saying stuff like, "I got COVID." What does that mean? I don't know. Okay. That's the noise. I don't know if you know, but that's the noise a bat makes. Oh. Because I go to this restaurant, and when you cut open the bat's belly, it goes, I got COVID! Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. That's COVID-19! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Sometimes it goes, Kung Flu! <laughs> Sometimes. Buffy! Oh, come on. Oh, but it's one of my favorite products of all time. Buffy makes super soft, earth-friendly bedding. We can't we can't talk about how much we love oh, it. Oh man, Buff- a year ago or however long ago, Andrew yeah. goes, I have a Buffy blanket and um I go, give it to me, give it to me. Buffy blanket is the only fucking blanket that me and Kalila use. It's it's, it's so it's, fucking comfortable, guys. It's incredible. It's on my bed right now. They're made from ultra smooth eucalyptus fiber. It's softer than cotton, and I I mean that. My favorite thing, if you suffer from this, if you sweat at night or get too hot or too cold, mm. it is temperature controlled. I, I promise you on my life, you won't sweat. Do it's you so sweat at night? It's so fucking cool it's and comfortable. Awesome. It's, it really is. All their products are cruelty-free, and they're hypoallergenic, so you're not going to get no the sneezes. Feathers. There's no down There's no animal products here, baby. No, it's earth-friendly. It's from renewable forests and it consumes 10 times less water to grow than cotton which is it, incredible here's another uh, little jimmy jam um the products have <laughs> almost 20,000 five star reviews plus an overall average rating of 4.6 stars believe the hype baby it's so comfortable we we honestly we both use it and i do love it you can uh a free trial right now free shipping and free returns you can try their products on your own bed for free before you commit to buying for twenty dollars off your Buffy betting, visit Buffy.co and enter the code Bad Friends. Once again, for twenty dollars off your Buffy betting, visit Buffy.co and enter the code Bad Friends. Golf, golf critique. critique. <laughs> Bobby knows I'm a big golfer. He makes fun of me all the time. He likes video games the way that I like golfing. Uh, golf Critique is the number one search engine that's happening right now. If you're a golfer, if you want to know about great golf course reviews, you want to know about instructors. Uh, book tea times um, and golf in your area. You got to go to golfcritique.com. You can become a member right now and you get a shot at winning $25,000 in golf with Holly Saunders and Brian Erlacher. Pretty amazing. Simply go to golf, golfcritique.com, put in the referral code 26793. Bobby's going to start golfing. We got him out to the range. He's going to sign up because he wants to win the money. Once you're a member, you write a review, you're automatically in, and eight finalists are going to get selected. To go play Pinehurst, North Carolina, and get $25,000. If you are a golfer, go to golfcritique.com. It's very, very much worth it. Get your ass signed up. Use our promo code, Babo. Bad friends. Bad friends. You'll receive 15% off the annual premium membership at just over $4 a month. It's incredible. You get a chance to win $25,000 just for being a part You'll of this. It. Go to golfcritique.com. You'll love it. You'll love it all. It's the best search engine in golf. Can I tell you a really weird story about a choking on food, by the way? This what? is so mean. We have a family friend. This is so mean. Is this real or not? Swear to God. No, this, right. this is real. Okay. No more joke. All right. His wife. From now on, let's be real. Okay. No more, no more lies, all that stuff. No because problem. I don't know where. Okay, go ahead. His wife was eating lunch in his office right in front of him and choked to death on a chicken bone. Died? Was, died. Was eating chicken wings and died in his office. Came to see her husband for lunch and died. And this, this is crazy. And one time, Someone in my family forgot his name, right? Mm -hmm. And she's trying to reference him. And she's like, you know, dad's buddy. I'm like, I don't know who you're talking about. And she goes, chicken bone. Chicken. (laughs) (laughs) No, really? And I was like, don't, that's so mean. 
Yeah. His wife died from a chicken bone in her. It got lodged in her throat. Mm. So you know what? We don't have, we don't have chicken anymore in our house. This is not a lot. We have a cousin. Yeah. I'm serious, by the way. That's a yeah, real no, story. No, this, we, I'm serious. Here. Yeah. And my dad call, calls him Smash. Why? Because <laughs> my cousin a fucking, was smashed in a fucking car accident and died. Like flattened? Yeah, she, he didn't know the name. So he goes, you know Smash. <laughs> <laughs> I go, Dad, yeah. Jennifer, you mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Smash Jennifer. <laughs> I made that story up. Smenifer. I made that story up. That's a fake story? I lied, yeah. Look into the camera and say it wasn't real. It wasn't real. Ah, fuck it. Car accident stuff is creepy and gross. I know, I don't know why I just did that. I apologize. Sometimes I lie. About Jennifer's. Sometimes I do deceit. Sometimes. S sometimes. The song was good last week, huh? Oh, my God. People song. love the yeah. song. You know what I suck about it? You know what I hate about the comments? What? The song's great, but when Andrew kicks in, that's when it becomes really funny. Mm-hmm. You got another song you want to play? No, we'll I, see don't, you can I don't sing have my iPad, iPad, but no, I'm not doing another song, but I'm just saying. You're not doing another song? I wrote the music of that song. Not that hard. Yeah. Daddy, Why You Die. Daddy, Why You Die. Daddy, music. Why You Die. I write the music. Yeah, you did. Right? I'm the one that, you watch, I tell Jules, I asked Jules, I was in the car, right? Mm -hmm. Like, before you got there, because you were late, and I, I, I go, you know what I mean? Trying to, trying to compose the, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then you come in and you kick in with pretty good improv. Better than yours. True. <laughs> Don't be you're sad, better, yeah, Bob. You're better than me. Don't be sad. You're all better than me. No, we're not. Yeah. I get a call the other day. Mm-hmm. Ring a ling ding ding ring a ling ding ding. Ring a ling ding ding ring a ding ding yeah, ding. And I go, hello, it's my, you know, my agents at CAA. Mm-hmm. And they go, um, you like to play video games? I go, yeah. And they go, Well, they want you to play Apex Legends. And I go, what is that? It's like they say it's like Warzone, but it's more cartoony. Yeah. And I go, okay. And they go, you're gonna play with a bunch of other comedians, Ron Funches, love Eric Griffin, love. Uh, you know Jackie Cation? Yeah, she's great. I love Jackie. Um, yeah. Brian Poussin. Yeah. And maybe some other. They were thinking maybe Sarah Silverman. And I go, okay, how much? You have to play eleven hours. Eleven straight? Yeah. Why? I don't, what, what, what would be the purpose of that? They're streaming it. Oh, they're live streaming they're it on live streaming like it. Twitch? On yeah, Twitch? on Twitch, I think. And mm. then you're playing Apex Legends for 11 hours. And uh, I do that anyway with Warzone. So yeah. I said, fuck it. Let's just do it. 11 hours straight? Yeah. But you know what? I think there's breaks. Like, I have to take a shit. <laughs> I'm going to take a shit on Shit fucking break! Twitch. Yeah, and then so they'll play me uh, probably cigarette breaks. They pro yeah, they definitely yeah. gotta have cigarette you're breaks. You're doing it out of your house, which is gonna be cool. So they're f you're you're filming it on your computer. No, in my house, they're gonna, they're coming over to set to up. install a bunch of fucking technology. Wow. And I, I don't know if we we're able to keep that technology, but that'd be fucking cool. It's just it's a dream situation. Yeah, to get paid it's to like play video games. It's like paid to fucking sleep, which is kind hey, of. Hey, we're gonna come over and just hook up some mechanisms in the bed. You won't even feel it. You do get paid to sleep. You sleep in for the most of the day. You're getting paid for some of that day. From what? Who's paying me? Everything that you've ever done. Oh, that is true in the sense. We yeah. have shadow money coming. Shadow money. You Dude. Get, you get checks like, you know, you did an El Pollo Loco commercial, you know what I mean? And they kind of did a snippet of it in Brazil. Isn't so that, here's $10. It's a nice little $10 it check. Is, yeah, I mean, you get like weird money. I get a couple. I have one on the way from... Uh, from what? From the disaster artist. Good. Yeah, it's a little bit of money. It's not bad. What's the most? What's what's a movie? The biggest residual what's a check? Movie, yeah, what's a movie that you get still get residual checks on? Not movie, but I still get checks from uh, uh, This Is Us, that TV show. Oh, you do? I did the pilot. I still get checks. Wow. It's like five years ago. I don't even know what it is now. And it, they're bigger than they should be. They're bigger than when I really was in something. Right. I was just a, a little guest star. I want to ask you something. Yeah. How come you haven't brought up... Uh, Soccer at all. This is a big, isn't this big for soccer right now? What do you mean? Liverpool won the EPL? Yeah, isn't that amazing? I tried to watch, I think Man U played, um, I forgot who they played, but I was watching it. And it just, because there's no audience, and because there was a disruption to the season, yeah. and because we already knew Liverpool was going to win the whole fucking thing. Doesn't matter. It. I was just like, I'm done. I, I, I want to wait until the EPL starts again. Hmm. And then I want to see what happens in the transfer window. I also want to see if there's going to be actually an audience. Probably not. 
And I'm going to yeah. say that let's talk real for a second. Mm -hmm. You know, regardless if you feel like, you know, we, we should open everything up. Or if you're like me who thinks that it was a little too soon. Mm -hmm. I, I Listen, I want to listen to everyone's perspective. Everyone has a right to have their own opinion. Sure. About any issue, yeah. right? Yeah. But facts are facts. And we are at a rise right now. It's bad in L.A. In Texas, it's bad. Here, we lead the country I know, I in know, new cases. I know. It's fucking insane. In Florida, it's bad. It's bad in pockets, in different pockets of the country. Yeah. And... There's no let up. No, I know. And when they say that the world has changed, it has. From now on, we don't know now when comedy clubs are going to open. There's no way to know. Probably never. All the way? Yeah. Who all, fucking, all the way. Who, who, knows? Knows? who knows? Two years, three years, four yeah. years? Especially in L.A. I mean, they were thinking that July was going to be... I know. I remember that. They remember like, what? July, you know, like the store will open. After the holiday, we'll be back. Yeah, yeah. And we're not. Not even close. We're and the opposite. And so... Um, Man, that's why I like when they called me for this video game thing. I'm also doing like Howie Mandel called me and goes, you know, usually, you know, he's so proactive. Yeah. And he's like, hey, I'm doing this other, you know, I mean, reality show. I'm like, I'll just do it. What reality show are you doing? It's not a reality that? show, but it's like a game show kind of a thing. You know what I mean? What What is it? I don't even know what it is, but it's like with you, Eric Stonestein, and that other lady that's on Modern Family. What's her name? Julie Bowen? No, the Hispanic lady. <laughs> Sofia Vergara? Yeah, Sofia Vergara. <laughs> The, Wait, what's her? What is it? So Sofia Gagara. Sofia Gagara. He goes, yeah, it's Sofia Gagara and Eric Stone from Modern Family. I go, it's just me too, and they go, yeah, and it's one of those just like game shows. That's fun. Could I be go, fun. Ah, I'll do. You, you, normally, I would be I'd like, I would like not do it. Mm. Well, I would ignore his call. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I love Howie Mandel, but every time it's some, it's a business thing. But but isn't that good? If if no, he's calling always, you for it's business, it's always like you know what I mean. So I have a show idea, you right? You. Joe Coy, you know, Santino, you're naked. You're in a bucket. Yes, yes, right? yes. There's score points. Yes, right? yes. And then Eva Longoria. <laughs> yeah, Great. Sofia Longongong, right? From Modern Family, right? <laughs> they're judging you, but they're doing accents. You have to pretend what they're saying. You have to figure it out. Right? Sign me and up. And the audience choose. And it's always something like that. And I'm always writing notes. Like, okay, bucket, Santino. Right? And then I'll see it a week later, and I won't understand the notes. You don't say bucket, Santino, Eva Longongong. It, it, and it'll say crowd and points. Yeah. And I'll go, I have no idea what the fuck that is. <laughs> right? Yeah. So it's always, uh, I love him. Yeah. Out of all those old school guys, I have to say, out of all those old school guys, you know, I love Louis Anderson. Louis is. You know Louis? Come on. Yeah, man. he's the best. Honestly? Yeah. His role in baskets was one of the coolest things I've ever seen in my life. He was so funny as Zach's yeah. mom. Yeah. But let me take it back one step. What? The reason I respect guys like that, like Howie's work ethic, like you're talking about, mm. you're talking about a guy who's been in the game for so fucking long yeah. and done so much. Dude, His Bobby's, career, Bobby's world, I know, was to, so when, good. Was so was so unique for a guy yeah. to do like that. That was a stand up that could do ten different other things. That was pretty incredible, man. There is also a kid in me that's like I remember when I was I think in middle school and I was watching HBO or something and I was a kid. And I remember watching like Howie Mandel, like in a young comedian special or yeah. something like that. And he would, you know, what I mean, hey, I got a black head. And he would pick up a black mannequin head and stick it on his face. <laughs> and I remember, like, as a kid, just gut crying, yeah. right? And then it's just like, oh, how does it sound cheesy? But you know, so when he calls, right, there is that kid inside me yeah. that goes, "There's that guy that I watched." You know what I mean? Of and course. I thought it was so, he was so great. And then. Um, I love also um, Dice too because I just kind of grew up watching him. Well, they 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 reconnect with a point of your childhood. Yeah, that's like so like that makes you feel so happy. Like, dude, when I worked with Jim Carrey on the Showtime show, we were having drinks and dinner one night. Yeah, and I'll never forget in the middle of him talking. Yeah, I was like just buzzed enough where I was watching his lips and I was watching his lips and it looked like he was doing. The Ace Ventura mouth, you know, like yeah, yeah, and, it, yeah. and it like reinvigorates that that memory from oh, your brain as a kid. Oh my god! It is weird. To, it's weird when you yeah. It's weird when you get to work or befriend people that you love that you loved. When I mean, I'm you still so do, intimidated but. by him. That I remember when they were sh like doing audition not auditions, but they, he came to the comedy store yeah. to see people perform. I was on the lineup. No, I know. It sh showed me, and he came up to me and he goes, "Hey, buddy, fucking hilarious." Right, 
And I went, ha cha cha you. Sing you, Jane. Yeah, yeah. And then when um, in Mitzi's funeral, mm-hmm. in Mitzi's funeral, I, uh, so Al Madrigal goes, you know, everyone's there, right? Yeah. And so Al Madrigal goes, um, hey, man, let's just sit over here to the side. But for some reason, when we sat down, like all the cool comics sat with us. Mm-hmm. So first Bill Burr, right? And a couple of other people. And then Jim Carrey walks. And there's a gap between me, Bill Burr, and a bunch of people. Jim Carrey sits right next to me. Wow. I go, Smith is in there, you. <laughs> What's <was> sad? <laughs> we funeral. Missy Duggan for you. Right? <laughs> and he takes his hand and he, he puts it on my back. And he kind of just rubs it. Oh, nice. And I'm just like, oh, this guy is so fucking cool. He's very connected He's to He's like your, a yeah. really cool, connective kind of You can guy. tell he... Fe- he, he um... You could tell he's very in the moment. He's very present. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I embarrassed myself when I asked him one time. I said, Jim, where do you, uh, where do you live in now? And he, <laughs> so stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, um, I'm kind of everywhere, man. And I was like, I know. I... <laughs> Why like, did you ask that? Why am I that? asking a billionaire where Why he lives? Why did lived? you ask that? They live wherever they need to live. He yeah. lives, he can live here. He can live there. Mm-hmm. He can live fuck, He can live in LA for half the year. He can live in Canada for half of the year. Yeah, ner- it's, it's funny. Nerve. I get nervous like a lot socially, I, I only and get I just don't know what to say. Well, it's also because you. Res- I think you get. I get nervous around people that I really respect. Yeah. It, 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 it doesn't matter if you're famous. Yeah. If I respect your work and I know that you've done stuff that I'm like, wow, you're very good at, at something. Yeah. Whatever it is, musicians, athletes, you know, someone that's just anybody who's great at something. I'm always like. I don't know what I'm supposed to say to you because I know they don't want to talk a lot yeah. to some guy that's like, hey, you talk basketball, LeBron? And he's like, yeah. And you're like, basketball, LeBron. What am I supposed to st- There is We don't have anything in common. Or when you're, sometimes what happens is when you're on a TV show mm-hmm. and sometimes like an actor will direct. Oh yeah, that happens a lot. Fred right? Savage directed me a few times. Right, so when I was on Spling Up Together, I just show up on set on a Monday and I realize, I go, I know this director. And it was Helen Hunt. Shut up. No, I'm not kidding. Wild. And so I, I walked up to her and I go, hey, I love Twister. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Why out of all her jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You love the fucking tornado movie? Out of all the jobs. <laughs> that's the one that I go, Twist. I go, I love Twister. How stupid did it was you so, feel? I felt so stupid. She's like, yeah, that was. A tough job, long She's hours. She's like, yeah, I've done a lot long of movies. Hours, yeah. And for some reason, like, I would, tr- like, she was a little distant. Well, a- after the Twister comment? Yeah. No, no it, uh, yeah, she was very distant to me, right? And then, like, it got to the point where her notes were just, just say it faster or whatever it might be, right? She didn't want to talk to me. But then what happened was she took my, so she, I guess, my, one of the producers, Greg, who's a friend of mine, right, mm-hmm. um, had his office. And I'm just, I have the kind of relationship where I could just walk in. Sure. Right? So, but she had, he had told her, you could just have my office while you're working here. <laughs> so I just barge into his office, like, what's up? <laughs> like, I don't even know who's in it. And she's sitting there with her assistant, and they're on their computer, and they're on a conference call. Yeah. And she, they're taking notes, and they're really serious. And I go, what's up, Helen? <laughs> like, I had to... Switch it. <laughs> yeah. You know, like improvise. Because Greg was there yeah, in your mind. Yeah, yeah. What's up, Greg? What's up, Helen? And she's she's like, like, I'm working. <laughs> Get out. Go, okay. I'm Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. I'm working. It was ter- I'm Bobby. It was terrible. Get out. It was terrible. Yeah, those moments are only because you're when you respect someone, you feel, you feel stupid. You wouldn't yeah. feel stupid if you didn't really care. Yeah. If it was just a regular nobody that you're like, I don't fucking know. It's fine. I'll just feel like... Oh, my bad. Sorry, I made a mistake. Yeah. It's when you respect someone, you feel foolish when you make a stupid mistake like that. One of my dreams is this, is like, if I ever die, let's say there is a heaven. If you ever die, you're die. You're going to die. Gonna die. Know, but if I die, when I die, and my brother dies, yeah, and we're in heaven, hmm. one of my dreams, I, this is never going to happen, but... Maybe. I would love to go to God or whoever is in charge. or hmm. probably There's probably like a point person. I bet there's a committee. There. Or there's probably somebody that's designated for, like an angel that's designated to you. Yeah. That hey, you don't get a direct line to God. Hey, Zeus. Right. And you go, um, I wouldn't want to go, hey, is there any way that I can look at my brother's best of tape? 
<laughs> He's like, what do you mean? Like yeah. all his just awkward mishaps. Yeah. Just, Compiled. Like, I, I just, yeah, like, just a compilation yeah. over the years. And my brother and I just want to sit there and watch it. Mm -hmm. I know that my brother and I yeah. will laugh so fucking hard. Mm -hmm. And then my brother will say the same. I want to see Bobby's best of tape. Yeah. Just all the awkward. All the fuck ups. Fuck all the goof ups. Up, weird yeah. moments. How he tried to like you your know, blooper reel. Yeah, my yeah. blooper reel. Yeah. I'll tell you something. Uh, you know who raised me, Andrew? Uh, wolves? No, my cousin Paul. Oh. I have a cousin by the name of Paul Choi. Paul he taught Choi. me about Kurosawa films. He taught me about the Velvet Underground. This is back in the 80s. Love. And he raised me. And um, so about a year ago, I was at the... He lives in o Oregon. He, um, I was at the Helium Comedy Club. Yeah. And he came and he uh, said he invented something. Yep. And he invented this thing called Pocket Stand. Pocket Stand. Is. Look at how cool that is. Yeah. It amplifies sound. It amplifies sound, right? And it's designed. And he worked very hard in this. And what it is, it's a soft plastic, but it fits perfectly around your yep. phone. It's snug. And, and it's snug. And you, you, you can watch movies. Mm -hmm. And the sound is great. There's a little pocket here where sound comes out. Yeah. And um, take it with you where you go. You can take it on airplanes. And and, and, and normally they're $10, but we're selling it here. $7. Seven fucking dollars yep, for with a, a bad, stand. With These a bad things friend's are promotion. Amazing. It comes in a variety of colors. Tons of colors. It comes in teal and blue and green and black and peach like Bobby because she's a sweet little peach. Yeah, yeah. And this is uh, this is um, the future, people. This is the future. This Go grab, the future. One, of Go grab one of these pocket stands. Go to pocketstand.com. Use the Bad Friends promotion because you'll get thirty percent off and free shipping. They'll send it to your house. It's only seven bucks. Come on, man, help out the Bobby Lee fam. Right? Yeah, yeah it's my family. It's my first cousin. Help out. You know what I mean? The Bad Friends family. The Bad Friends family. Pocketstand.com and pick it, up it one. It actually is really fucking cool, dude. I'm proud of them, dude. This is amazing. Way to go, Paul. We love you. We Pocketstand.com, you, Pocket baby. I, I wish we all got to see our own blooper reel to just laugh at the... At, like, right before you die. <laughs> if you saw all the dumbish, dumb <laughs> yeah. shit that you've ever done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what, like, like, you want to talk about it here. I just remembered an embarrassing moment the other day. Yeah. Because we were, when we were watching Alone, yeah. the guy almost fell into the fire that he made. Yeah. Right? And it brought me back immediately to when we were camping... In, we were in Northern Illinois or Wisconsin somewhere, right? Uh -huh. There was a girl. I was probably in junior high. There was a girl that I would, was had a huge crush on, uh -huh. okay? And everyone is, like, goofing around by the fire, and it's getting late, and we're all young, dumb teenagers, and people are, like, jumping over the fire or throwing stuff in it to make it get bigger. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, when it's, like, yeah. just to get it lit up or throw kerosene in it or something. Yeah. And I And this girl was there, and I was like, I can jump from like outside of the rocks all the way across like it was it was a bigger gap <laughs> I'm not kidding yeah, at all yeah. okay the parents are like inside the house of yeah. whoever we're with yeah, yeah. and I'm trying to show off this girl and I'm like no nah, I can fucking <laughs> yeah. dude I jump and my foot hits the rock one of the rocks yeah. outside and I face plant into the fire into yeah. the fire yeah. luckily I'm, I'm I roll out as fast as I can <laughs> Everyone is die I mean dying laughing yeah, no yeah. one's concerned no one's oh you, no are, are, everyone's what, so, ah! what happened to you no, I was fine. Just I was the, the biggest fucking loser for the rest of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everyone laughed. Nobody tried to help me. I yeah. would have burned to death and they would have laughed the whole fucking time. Yeah. Because I thought it was going to be cool in front of the girl to jump over the fire. Yeah. Like a moron. <laughs> yeah. Is that impressive when boys try to do, you know when boys try to do dumb stuff to show off? Yeah. Yeah, boys do that. There. Like when you're younger, right? Like little like 12, 13 year old boys, you think you're cool and you want to do something like that. Mm -hmm. And then for the rest of the time, <laughs> right? <laughs> for the rest of the time, you're like, that guy's a loser, yeah. right? 
Yeah, see? That's I did it. this once at a restaurant. This is mm-hmm. years ago, and I was at a restaurant. I was by myself. Yeah. And this beautiful, this is way before Kalila. Mm-hmm. This beautiful, I don't know why I remember this, because it was so embarrassing. Yeah. So th- this girl walks in, and she looks right at me, and she goes, hi, like that. <laughs> so I go, I do a silly hi. Like go, like I do a finger. <laughs> you know what, I mean? what are you, the like Fonz? you. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Like I know you, you know what I mean? Yeah. And it's one of those situations where she was obviously waving to somebody oh, in back of no. me, right? Mm. So I do this, <laughs> and I turn around, and there's a guy that stands up and goes, <laughs> hey, you know, Sally or whatever. And I'm standing like this, right? But in my mind, right, I go, I'm going to pretend someone's behind her. <laughs> so I go, and she looks at me. I go, no, not you, Right. <laughs> But there was no one. There was no one behind her. <laughs> she turned around. There was literally no one behind her. So I was like, "The paranormal." <laughs> There's a ghost. She goes to the dude. She's like, "That poor schizophrenic Asian I boy." I looked so crazy because not only did I do that, but I go like that, and there's no one there. Oh my god. Oh god. Hey, me? No. <laughs> I know. You, her? Yeah. But now when people wave to me, even if I know them, you don't. even if I know them, I don't do a thing right away. Why? Just in I case? Just go, I just go. <laughs> in case it's not yeah, for yeah, you. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding you. Because you get I nervous. I think there's been 10 times in my life that that's happened where, because also when you, you get, you're, maybe I'm narcissistic, mm-hmm. but especially when you're a comedian. Yeah. And because people come up to you all, right? You're at, you're at a Starbucks. People often will People say hi. People will walk or, by and go, what's sure. up, dude? I'm a fan of your podcast or Matt yeah. TV or whatever it might be, right? Sure. And I'm, I'm cool about it. I'll go, thanks, dude, or whatever, right? But yeah. it's like sometimes when people will just go, smile at you. And you don't want to be rude, so you smile back. But yeah, well, you do? Yeah, no, I smile back. Yeah, yeah. I smile back. You have to. You have to smile back. But if... if, if, if but now I'm a little more... You're weary? No, if they smile, I'll just... Yeah, I do. there is an awareness. Have you ever had it where you, somebody knows who you are at like a coffee shop or a place you go to all the time and you don't know their name? You know when you go enough? Oh, yeah. And you don't know their name? Oh, yeah, yeah. And it feels really bad when they're like, hey, all right, Bobby, take it easy, man. And I'm there all the time. No. Because I'm I there all the time. I don't feel bad about that. I don't give a fuck. I say, well, thanks, dude. There's a um, captain. Know, you could say you chief. Should, I should know his name. No, you don't. Oh, no. I see him every day. Do you know his name now? Yeah, <laughs> he's probably you no. Know, he, he hears this. He's like, next time I go, and he's like, "What? Yeah, what do you want?" My brother worked at a, a fucking coffee bean on San, Sunset Boulevard, and um, Ardmore. Oh yeah, I know. Yeah, I think Ard. No, Las Palmas. L- yeah, so Sa- Las. Palmas. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, yeah, in Hollywood. Yeah, yeah in Hollywood, right? Yeah. And he used to work with this guy named Donnie. Fucking Donnie. Donnie, right? And Donnie would always like fucking drop names. Like famous people? Yeah, but they weren't famous. <laughs> like, hey, man, fuck, you can't even believe who came in here, man. You're not going to fucking believe who came in here, man. Charlie Sheen stand in, man. <laughs> Charlie Sheen stand in, man. <laughs> I got a photo with him and everything, man. That's huge for that guy. Oh, my God. That's big for Donnie. I hate this town. No, you don't. Yeah. You love this town. Dude. You own this town. I met fucking Raul Jenkins, dude. <laughs> he was the stunt man for the Nickelodeon show Blue Wave, man. <laughs> and you're like, oh, fuck this town. No, it's fun. It's great. No, it's really I'm fun. I'm grateful. I love it. You do love it here. Mm. What are you looking at? You looking at your text massages? Yeah, man. You're a busy guy. You're blowing up lately, man. You got new video game contracts. You, Dude, you have a game show. You got video game contracts. You're killing it. What aren't you doing? What's next for Bobby Lee? Huh? A memoir? You know why I don't take that seriously? Could you, you ever say? write? You could you ever write so a memoir? I don't make fun, fun yeah, of you. Yeah, you do. You, you're every, you're sarcastic. No, I'm not. Yeah, you're not. You because you know that you're on Davy. You know, right? Yeah. Yeah, you know you've done you know, the disaster artist. Stop it. I make, <laughs> you know what I mean. I make fun big of big feature films. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I, you know what I was really hurt. I was so disappointed when they didn't fucking nominate you for the disaster artist. <laughs> you think that's funny? Yeah, I literally, I called my agents. I called the Academy. I go, how can you not? 
How the acting? Mm-hmm. And you know what? You know what? You were better than you were better than when Brian Callen was in the Joker. He was really good in the Joker. Yeah, he was so good in the Joker. Hey, how many weeks are left on your game show? Probably a couple more weeks. Are you watching? No. Why, Why? not? Why? It's so good. No, you're being sarcastic. I've Fuck seen. You. I've seen every episode. What, 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 what did I do last week? Oh my god! With the, the uh, <laughs> what did I do last week? I know what you did. What the um, the one where you eat the bugs? Where you no, eat... that was that was the first episode. Oh, was yeah. God, it feels like it was last week. No. Oh no! Last week was the tournament of the tournament of Tom. <laughs> yeah, you don't watch it. I do watch it. What I what, name me one activity I did last week because I know what I did last week. You ran the, the gauntlet. You ran up the gauntlet. <laughs> Didn't you run the gauntlet? Wait, you ran the gauntlet. I watched it. You ran the gauntlet. No. No? No. Wait, what did you do last week? Here's the thing. You don't watch any of my shit. I don't watch any of your shit. That's the truth. Because we don't... That's not true. I watch love. We we know each other not from that. I know. That's true. We I saw you when you were like a young comic. Yeah. And I remember me and... Uh, what's his name? Saw you. Yeah, yeah. How's Leonard Crowen? He's gone. He, he's in the neighbor's yard. Is he dead now? knows you don't check in do you not check in on, on leonard crohan no we checked in but then we didn't saw him so. oh no so he's dead for sure he's dead right there's literally no chance he couldn't be dead it pissed me off too it's like she when, when is the poop still on your patio yeah but when the crow <laughs> left right I, I go um all right guys i'm gonna go sweep up the the balcony no one helped me and i spent hours out there sweeping you know what i mean trying to get the fucking shit it's, it's it's still shit all over the place you gotta use a hose yeah. I know I understand that but it's like not that I love crows I love Anemilia oh my god they don't wanna hear that what what was that I don't know it wasn't a burp or fart it was like a fart burp it was like a yeah like a fart came out of your mouth I know I haven't eaten all day dude why cause I woke up at 245 and I realized holy shit I have bad friends today and so Jules was like what? what are you reading something? She was reading a book on the couch, <laughs> and I go, "Let's go." She's like, "Okay." okay. Why then, don't Why don't you just make a have a meal? Pre- why don't you have a meal? She ate already. I yeah. have not eaten. I, you know what I'm gonna get? I'm gonna get an acai bowl delivered. That's not food. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Acai bowl is like a, a hundred calories. Acai bowls are so. Oh, oh my! Who's it? Nobody. You remember him? I love him. Just yeah. open it. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Hey, you're on the podcast. Hey, Nick, it's you're, Bobby Lee. You're on the podcast. Nick, with Nick Bobby Lee. Bobby, how are you? Remember you did that movie and you made me audition? <laughs> oh, fuck you, Did I get an offer? Dude, suck a dick. I, I, I'm doing my best, man. Did I'm he get the part? My- no, I didn't even do it. Huh. Were you in the movie? I was. Yeah. Nick, did you make did you make did you make me audition, Nick? I, guys, it's not about who gets the audition. <laughs> no, but I want to ask Nick. I love you so much, but did Nick did Nick did uh, did Andrew Santino audition for your movie? No. Uh huh. But he's my best friend, and right. I wrote the role for him. That's right. Mm. Okay. What was the What was Bobby going in for? I don't remember. Who got it? Who got it? Was it Adam Lustig's I, thing? I think it was Adam Lustig's role. Who's he, Adam Lustig's? Maybe one of the funniest people on earth. He's on a show, Corporate, on Comedy Central. Oh. He, he's so fucking funny. He's bigger than me? But, he's skinnier uh, than you. Bobby. Is he bigger than me in the name? No. No. Mm, no. Okay. You're but, like a network guy, man. You're a you're network a guy, see? You're a game show guy now. Oh, I'm a network guy. Is that why? Yeah. You're na- yeah. You're, yeah so you're, if I would have read for it, would I got it? Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Oh, shit. I should have auditioned. You should have auditioned. What's up, Nicholas? No, if, I love you, Nick. Hey, I was just kidding. No, joke's on me because the movie didn't do great. <laughs> <laughs> do you know any of, uh, any of the sales numbers of the film? No, I think we came close to getting their money back, which is... That's good. Let's promote the movie. What's the, what is the movie called, Nick? Little, little, bi- little Bitches. Little Bitches. Can they get it on iTunes, Nick? Amazon, right? iTunes and Amazon. Uh, okay. Andrew- very funny in it. We have a very big audience here. I love Nick. Nick and I've worked with Nick before. Yeah, he's awesome. He's one of my I love. He's one of my favorite people in the whole world. I love you. You're so I great. Love you. um, I was 
just watching the Father's Day song. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a, hey, 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 who had a better verse, Bobby or me? You know, I love you, Nick. I, <laughs> uh, so watch um, Little Bitches Got Little Bitches Yeah Little Bitches Right on yeah. um, iTunes And yep. fucking Amazon Yep Amazon. Nick is my boy And then You know what dude Next time you do a movie I will read for it I'll read for it next time <laughs> Offer Well you're offering I'll, I'll read for it next time Okay so Don't worry I won't get another movie Yes no, you I will I want you to get another fucker You're so fucking talented Yes you will uh, You're a fucking talented fucker Alright Nicholas You want me to call you I'll call you later I'll call you after Love you guys Love Bye, you baby Nick. What a good guy. He fucking made me read. Yeah. He told me he was going to make you read. <clears throat> he goes, I don't... Because, you know, because that what tells me that, he's, that he thinks that I can't act. No, it's not that he doesn't think that you can act. He knows you can act. I think he didn't know if you could do that character. Ah. Uh, yeah. What was... It was the character was a blind black guy in a wheelchair. Oh, yeah, I had to read. <laughs> yeah, I had to read. Yeah, it, you know, there's no way. That's very difficult. There's no way. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna do a show that where they said that I had to be in a wheelchair. Yeah. And I was like, I don't think I want to do that. If I got a movie deal. Yeah. Right, and I I wrote a part. Yeah. Right, I, I I'm casting it. Mm -hmm. And I, I I gave an offer to Theo Vaughn. Yeah, man. Right, and I offered one to Brian Callen. But then uh, your agents he here, you have to read. It's yeah, it'd be mean if you gave roles to other people. No, and would you read? Here. For you? No, would you read for me? No. No, no chance. So why is it that I have to read for him? Because you're because you're a wild card. We don't know what you're coming with, you know? You're going to read for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Because you said that, you have to read for me. No. Yeah. You're my friend. But do you understand how that feels, though? I know, but I wouldn't make you read. I think you would. No, I wouldn't. I'm a wild card. You are a fucking wild card. Yeah. But I wouldn't make you read. Mm. But I would fuck with you a lot on the set of something, without a doubt. Mm. I'd give you wrong call times. You'd show up way too early because I know you'd be late, right? I'd make sure that you only had access to certain amounts of food, certain kinds of food, certain amounts of food, right? What, you think I just need fucking and I would have a, And I would have a translator for you on set because no one can understand you. Oh, my God. Speaking of translator, hmm. you know, Neil, Neil Brennan directed a movie called... It was with Will Ferrell produced it. It was about the cars. Jeremy with Jeremy Piven. Piven, right. Yeah, this car salesman movie. So he gave the part to Dr. Ken. But anyway. Did you audition for that? Yes. Oh, man, and he got it over you? Yeah. <laughs> and, I know. And I give him shit about it every time I see him. I'm being genuine. You didn't audition for The Hangover, right? No, they wouldn't see me. God, that would have been crazy for you, huh? I know. We wouldn't have been doing this show. You'd be so big. You'd be doing it with somebody bigger. Like Shut the fuck up. Anyway. Like Joel McKay. So I remember being in the audition, though. Yeah. And doing a, pa I did a, I did a whole, I did a scene, a couple mm -hmm. scenes. Yes. Neil gets up from, I swear to God he does this. <laughs> he gets up from fucking, you know what I mean, the couch or whatever. And there's probably eight people in the room. Mm -hmm. He he comes to me and whispers, this is what he whispers. And not and he wasn't even kidding. No one can understand what you're saying. <laughs> Why? Why? I have no idea. You're mumbling? I don't know. I thought I did it good, but he goes, no one can understand what you're saying. <laughs> How do you take that note? Speak up. No, I did. I, I Then I did it again, and they're like, oh, thank you. Yeah, you're probably mumbling. No, I wasn't fucking mumbling. In do the I mumble now? I do the, mumble. In the business, they call you the, mum the mumbles. Yeah, do I mumble? I do mumble a little bit. Sometimes you mumble your way through words, or you say words so incorrectly that it might sound like a mumble. Yeah, but I do that purposely for comedy. Huh? I got it. Is Panda Express bad for you? Number one, is it the best Chinese food I've ever had? No. No. Number two. P.F. Chang's is. Oh, it's the number one. P.F. Chang's is so it's good. It's so authentic Chinese. The you lettuce I mean? cups? Dude, if you fucking went to the most Ching Chongy town in China. Yeah, what is it? Is right, and you opened up a P.F. Chang's, they would be like, oh my guy. This is, is it, this is high quality. You'd close down all the Where, Who is PF? I want to meet him. Do you know who PF is? Paul Frank. The clothing designer. Yes. He owns that. I know. Paul Frank Chang. Paul Frank Chan. Chang. Chang. That was his name. Yeah. He made shirts and lettuce cups. <laughs> yeah, he did. He was good. Yeah. Paul Frank Chang. No, but, it's, but I, but what? You don't I, eat Panda Express. But you know it's what I love? dog about? shit. Uh, you know what? I, here's my qualms about Panda Express. 
everything. It's bad. It's gross. No, there's a couple of good things in there, mm-hmm. and they have their eggplant. T- so if you live in um, the Midwest, yeah. you, they might not offer this, but in some cities, <laughs> they, they do. Is, you have a select menu of Panda No, Express? there are some cities that have eggplant tofu. Eggplant tofu. Yeah. Like fried eggplant. But what I tofu. hate about eggplant tofu is people don't get it, right? So it's like, well, you'll go to a, a, um, a Panda Express, and it'll say eggplant tofu, you know, against the window. <laughs> yeah. But there's nothing in it. And you go... Give me eggplant tofu. And then they get angry because they have to make it. So they always have to go, oh, God, God. Why? Why? They go, oh. And then they have to turn to the guy, one eggplant tofu. <laughs> right? And then the, the, the chefs are like, we have to go get that shit in the back. Because no one orders yeah, it. Yeah, so they have to get the fucking eggplant and the tofu. And you can see them making it and not good. <laughs> they don't cook it all the way. And they just fucking, you know what I mean? There it is. That's their slogan, PF, uh, Panda Express. It's not cooked all the way. The eggplant tofu should be served in every fucking um, PF Chang. Uh, do you PF, eat? Egg, do you uh, eat Panda Express? Panda Express. Do you what? like it? Yeah, I like. She it. likes it. What? Just yeah. get. Just go to a mom and pop Chinese place. Oh, which one? All of them. Century Dragon. Um. Um. High. Hot. High. Hot Dragon. Yeah. Um. Um. You know, I want to. I want to. Uh, maybe we should. We'll, we should get Chin Chins. Chin Chin you is. You like Chin Chin? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. It's. Yeah. No, we're gonna go Panda again. I also can I just say something? I love Jersey Mike's. You do? My bad. No, I like it. It's fine. No, it's Jersey a su- Mike's. It's a, sub, it's a sub. It's a sub above. It's it better than fucking Subway. No, well, I don't. You know, I don't need that stuff. What? What do you all oh, really fucking? You're so fucking snooty, dude. Mm-hmm. Why you? You have your own like meat cutting. In my house, machine? I have a meat slicing machine in my house. Oh my god! And then I say do to myself, any... I, I hold it up and I go, "Is that thin enough, sir?" And I go, "Well." Do you do any fast mm-hmm. food? Uh, yeah, I do fast food. I just don't like sub sandwiches fast food. I, li- I like a deli, a mom and pop deli that makes sandwiches. Mm. Uh, fast food for me, my vice would be, uh, I fuck with a McFlurry. I, I, McDonald's it will forever be a place in my heart. McDonald's. It's McDonald's. Breakfast. Come, it's the best you breakfast on earth. You can't fuck with that shit. It does, it's, it, it, I will get everybody. it. I don't give a fuck if it gives me fucking colon cancer. I will fucking Does eat. it give you colon cancer? Whatever. Oh. Your your asshole's petrified from um, eating too many egg McMuffins. Uh, they, you, 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 where, is there a McDonald's nearby? Yeah, that's what I'd say. Let's unclog that motherfucker. What time is it? Is it before ten thirty? <laughs> it's all day but, but now. Now it's all day. Yeah. Thank Remember God. before it was ten thirty? Yeah. There's. And, the, it, it's you don't know 15, about that, do you? It's ten fifteen. You're in traffic, and right, and you're like, come you're, on, yeah. <laughs> You're half a mile from a fucking McDonald's because you, and then when you get there at ten thirty-five, and they're like, "Sorry, we switched over." We switched. Yeah, yeah. It's you have the material right there. No, it's driving. Yeah, yeah, fucking, I hate it. No, but I'll fast food it. I'll fast food it. But yeah. but but I but I will say all the options that we have around us. Mm. There's so many better burgers. I'd rather go get than oh, a fast food burger. I Shake Shack. I, I, it is a good fucking it's a burger. Good it's burger. a good fucking burger. It's a pretty good place. It's very good. Yeah. But but also but uh, I but, yeah. but 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 most of the time, most fast food, I don't really, I'm not really, I don't crave it. Mm. Like I don't crave Taco Bell. Oh my god! Did you, did, did, can I tell you? We when, live in Southern California. I'll, when they first announced the Mexican pizza, did you know that I drove a hundred miles to get it? Why isn't there like on every corner? No, but they they announced it. But like we're Mexican pizza, and the in my area they didn't have it. Where was this in San Diego or something? Or yeah. when you were up here? Yeah, it was San Diego. Oh, so I think I drove like to Irvine just to get a Mexican yeah, pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was it worth it? No, no, <laughs> it wasn't. no. I go. This is a taco, but flat. It's it's not. It's th- not good. No, it's not. But you know what? What's your fast food, Rudy? Jolly B. What? You don't know Jolly Bee? It's a Filipino. Oh, Jolly Bee. Jolly Bee is a I've Filipino. I've seen it. Right. It, I've lumped Jolly Bee in the same category as like Wiener That's Schnitzel. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Places I don't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wiener Schnitzel. No, we, oh, no. You don't fuck. Wiener Schnitzel is one of my favorites. But you're Pretzel wrong. bun? The, Pretzel bun. Those are two words. Pretzel, pretzel bun. bun. No. You know why I love a pretzel bun? Why? Because they don't, it's like a Thicker boat. Yeah. You know how you sometimes you see like. That's um, your n- nickname now is a thicker boat. Yeah, I love thicker boats. 
because you, oh yeah, you're Chicago dog. Yeah, you go to a fucking ball game. You get a fucking, you get that fucking weak ass steamed bun. It's delicious. And the chili seeps through it and it gets destroyed in fucking three minutes. First of all, we don't put chi- bones. chili dog is in a Chicago 15 years dog. they hold up. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. It's good for your stomach. No, it's not yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. 15 stomach. years that thing will fucking, you could still eat it. So Jolly Bee is your favorite, Rude? Yeah. yeah. What, what, do get, get, what do you get? What do you get there? there? Um, I get um, chicken or the spaghetti. <laughs> this place serves Italian and then just chicken. <laughs> no, there's you said it was a Filipino restaurant. Not, you, I wouldn't consider it spaghetti. It's not Filipino. It's noodles is it? with some sort of like you know what I mean suspect sauce. Wait, why did you say it's, it's a fun. Filipino place? It's not a. Filipino. That's where it's from. It, Jolly it is, Bee is. Yeah. yeah. And so, what do you mean? They just do a plate of spaghetti? No, there's different kinds. You can have a burger. Um, spaghetti. <laughs> what the chicken. fuck is this place? Any? It's everything. It's burgers, spaghetti. Yeah. Yeah. Chicken sandwiches. Empanadas. Can you get an empanada there? Yeah. Yeah, you can get oh empanadas. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's you know. Do never eat at a fucking restaurant that, that has, has three different <laughs> fucking. You know what I mean? Three different ethni- ethnicities, ethnicities of food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spaghetti, empanadas, and a burger. Yeah. No, that's yeah. your favorite Jolly Bee. Yeah. What else? Nothing else. Is that the one you like the most? McDonald's. Yeah, everybody. What's your order at McDonald's? Um, chicken. <laughs> chicken again? He loves chicken. <laughs> chicken nuggets? Chicken fuck up a chicken. Yeah, I like chicken nuggets too. Uh, but I want everyone listening to, to, to me hear this. If you go to Taco Bell, there is something on the menu that's not on the menu, mm-hmm. but that you can order and they have to make it for you. What is it called? It's one of the original things that um, Taco Bell made. It's called the Enchirito. Enchirito. Right. But it's not on the menu but they have the ingredients for it. They're just hiding it. No, they just go, it's one of those things when I tell them to make that fucking eggplant tofu uh, where they go, Ugh. and they have to make, they make it. The Enchirito. Yeah. What it is it? It comes in a black fucking box. It's like a black plate. Really? Yeah. A plastic black plate. Are you fucking with me I'm right now? Right. It's called the Enchirito. Okay. Basically what it is, it, it's fucking a bean burrito uh. with, ench- with um, um, enchilada sauce on it. Or whatever the red sauce is. A bean and cheese burrito with red sauce? Yeah. That sounds so good. Right. And you have to eat it with a fucking spork yeah. because they have sporks there. Yeah. So what I do is I get the enchirito and I'll just fucking draw fire sauce on it. Yeah. It's pretty fucking good, man. Maybe I'll go get just an enchirito. Get an enchirito, dude. Should we they go- might not make it for you. Why? Because I look like this? Maybe. Why would you get it and I wouldn't get it? Because they'll probably deny They deny it at first. They'll they go, get an we enchirito. Don't, we don't make it. On the menu. Make the enchirito. Is there a secret password? What? You go, make it. Oh, this? Just yeah. you flick <laughs> You flick them off. <laughs> that's, that's it? You fucking make it. Yeah, yeah. You just flick them off and they make it for you? Yeah, they do. Yeah. Well, we don't want to promote people flicking off people at Taco Bell. No. Please don't do that. But fast food is, um, fast food, it's a good thing. I, I love it. I don't, I, I don't, I, I, it's full, I don't, it's I don't a, eat it all the time, but I, I don't If you don't eat it, it all the time, if it's a daily thing. It's probably not good for you. It's not good for you. But it's good. I've been in, a, in in an emergency before, like a, a month or two. I've, I'll go by and not eat any fast food. Mm. But like you know, you have to be somewhere at six. Yeah, it's five o'clock. Yeah, you've been working all day, like meetings or auditions or whatever, mm. and you're getting that headache. Oh, I know that. I know you're talking that sugar headache. Like I have you... it right now. I have a headache because I haven't eaten all day. Right. Yeah. And uh, thank you for being, being a, a bad, bad friend. friend. Are you tired of aching calves from line dancing, rock climbing, or karate? Try Green Stuff! Our scientifically patented formula combines the carnivorous tree of the Amazon with the dust of captured angel's wings for a -a once-in-a-lifetime cure. Our untrained physician will inject you with Green Stuff, and in just six months, you'll have the speed and mobility of 1996 Olympic champion Carl Lewis. If you act now, you'll receive one injection of Green Stuff for the introductory price of just $4.5 million. Green Stuff may cause petrified muscles, tremors, nausea, vomiting, violent rage, memory loss, hair loss, hearing loss, loss of appetite, blindness, difficulty breathing, divorce, financial ruin, and paralysis. Green Stuff. 